we're going to be going over tables. So there's two different types of tables. There's arrays and then there's dictionaries. Arrays could just be like a list of names, it's just something really simple. Um, and then a dictionary has a key and a value. So let's go over a table first. So names equals wrong brackets. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll just have create a list of names. Bubby, um, Tommy, and Becca. All right, so now we have our list of names. So how are we gonna access this list of names? So let's just do a print statement and we need to get, we need to get Tommy. Let's say we need access to Tommy. So we're gonna have to find the location of Tommy. Well, Tommy's the second part. Tommy's the second part of our table, right? So Bobby's first, Tommy's second, Becca's third. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to say names two, and then it has to be in these brackets. So we'll do names two, and now we'll have access to Tommy. So if we print that out, we get access to Tommy. If we do names three, we print that out, we get access to Becca. And this is also known as the index of the, of the table. So it's location, location and index, same thing, but it's known as the index. So that's pretty much a table for you. It's really just a, a, a list of, you can think about it as a list of values or a list of variables more so values though. So let's do like 45, for example, because we can do that. So now let's get four. Let's print, let's print names four and we get 45. And it's really that simple. Okay, so that's pretty much what a table is. It's just a list of values. And those values can be strings, numbers, so on. So now let's, let's create a dictionary. So a dictionary, oh. <clears throat> so a dictionary has a key and it has a value. So let's make a key real quick. Um, let's say name equals Buster. And then we'll do another key, health equals 45. So name is a key, health is a key, buster is a value, 45 is a value. So let's, let's print out, let's print out health. So we got to do dictionary dot health and we get 45. And so why this is powerful, why, why we would use a dictionary is because we can have a function add health and we can say um, local health equals dictionary dot health and then we can say health equals uh, 72 and then now we can print health Let's see what we get. Oh, we didn't get anything. So let me see here. What what just happened? Oh, we got to call the function. Duh. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to call the function. And health equals 72. So that's why it's so powerful is because we can also say local name equals uh, dictionary.name. Um, and then we can we can do like a throw in an if statement here. I haven't gone over this yet. But we can say if uh, if name um, equals let's say Buster, then and then we can say um, this right here. We can put this right here.
okay so if name equals buster then um health equals dictionary.health and then we're going to say health equals 72 and health equals 72. so now i'm going to show you what's going to happen let's name this something different let's name this bub and it didn't it didn't work it didn't print because name does not equal buster so that's that's why this is really powerful because we can use dictionaries to hold information in our for our game and our players and then we can access that information very easily and change the the information so i hope that i hope that made sense um I can go more in depth in another video because there's just so much that you can do with dictionaries. Um, but yeah.